for whatever reason, girl groups don't seem to have tons of longevity. Obviously, there's exceptions, like Destiny's Child or Little Mix, both of who were releasing music together for about a decade, but those are pretty rare cases. Many well-known girl groups had a fairly limited initial run, such as the Spice Girls releasing their three albums within four years, Fifth Harmony only having three albums and an EP, also released within four years, or the Pussycat Dolls releasing just two albums three years apart from each other. It's crazy to think groups like this made the impact they did in such a short amount of time, but what about the groups that never even got that chance? The Paradiso Girls, sadly, fall into that category. Originally made by PCD founder Robin Anton, the Paradiso Girls were meant to be the European spin-off of the dolls. The group was formed in 2007 at an audition held by Robin, along with Jimmy Iovine, Will I Am, and music producer Cherry Cherry Boom Boom. Five girls were chosen, Lauren Bennett from the UK, Kelly Beckett from Barbados, Aria Crescendo from France, Charme Amor from the Philippines, and Chelsea Corka from the US, who also appeared on the 2007 show Pussycat Dolls Present, The Search for the Next Doll. The group released their first song, Wow, in 2008, an electronic Eurodance-influenced track. Wow doesn't sound too far off from what PCD was doing at the time, but it's definitely different enough to stand out. It's not quite as over-the-top or as catchy as songs like When I Grow Up or What You Think About That, but it works well as a chic, sophisticated dance track. In 2009, the group released their next single, Patron Tequila, and it became their biggest hit, charting at number 3 on the US dance chart. The song, which features Eve and Little John, is a ratchet party banger about getting drunk and dancing the night away. The girls sound great together, like they're genuinely having a fun time, and the song itself is so extra, with its damn near shouted verses. The video is also really fun, with the girls flirting with this man who is blatantly shilling Beats by Dre. Patron Tequila is a summer bop through and through, totally one you could play at a backyard party for your friends while the drinks are flowing. Unfortunately, the song would be the only hit the group had, as their next one, 2010's Who's My Bitch, failed to make a huge impact. As much as I genuinely enjoyed that song, I can't see why it didn't catch on with the general public. It is a strange track that interpolates the French aria Habanera from the opera Carmen. It's a really funny song about the girls confronting their cheating boyfriend, and the contrast of having lyrics like I'm not your bitch, I'm not your hoe against a classical music sample works shockingly well. It's seriously one of the most unique songs I've ever heard from any girl group. It might have been too unique though, as it didn't make much noise. The group plans to release an album titled Crazy Horse, but their poor chart performance up to this point led to it ultimately being cancelled. The group disbanded in 2010 after being dropped by Interscope Records, and each member went on to focus on their solo careers. According to an interview with Aria, there was no big drama that made the group split up. She stated it simply wasn't the right time for girl groups. I could kind of see what she means. Girl groups tend to come in waves, with the Spice Girls dominating the mid to late 90s, the Pussycat Dolls dominating the mid to late 2000s, and Fifth Harmony having their moment in the mid 2010s. Maybe the early 2010s just wasn't the right time for a girl group to thrive, though I think with more promotion and the right single choices, they could have at least had some more success. Many of the unreleased songs from Crazy Horse have leaked over the years, and they're worth checking out. With some more polish, they would have made for a great album, but sadly it doesn't look like we're ever going to get that. The only other officially released material from the group were their features on the Space Cowboy songs I Came to Party and Falling Down, both of which are bangers. I especially love Falling Down. It is so 2009 in the best way. I love listening to it when I'm going out, it just gets the party vibe going. Even though all the girls appear in the video, it's actually only Chelsea that has any vocals on the song, and I wish her section lasted longer since it's only four lines. I love the robotic vocals she has, Again, it's very emblematic for this era of clubby, electronic dance tracks. Overall, the Paradiso Girls are a tragic tale. They had genuine promise and an eccentric style that was fairly different from any other girl group at the time, but they never got a chance to even make an impression. Outside of pop music fans, no one really discusses them nowadays, which makes sense since they never had a huge mainstream breakthrough. Even Patron Tequila, their biggest hit, seems to be relatively forgotten about nowadays, which is sad because it really is a great party track. Stories like this go to show that, even with the backing of a major label, it's extremely difficult to break through and garner mainstream success. 
It also makes you wonder how many other artists have been signed to major labels, recorded songs, and have promotional material created that never even saw the light of day. The Paradiso girls were sitting on a whole album by the time they got dropped from their label, so who knows what other plans there were for them, if they actually made it big. If you haven't heard of the Paradiso girls before, I recommend giving their very brief discography a listen, especially if you love late 2000s pop music. And make sure to listen to Falling Down, that song seriously rules.